Welcome back. It's the Oilers and the Red Wings. Detroit has won nine straight versus Edmonton at home. That's their longest active winning streak against any opponent at Joe Louis Arena. Opening frame, Detroit setting the tone early. Nicholas Cronwall shows Mark Letestu what being Cronwall is all about. Well, and Cronwall, he always teeters in that gray area. But this is a clean hit. You've got to keep your head up. Letestu is puck focused. And Cronwall makes him pay as he hits him through the body. So that sparked you know, a bit of a melee. The Oilers would get the old only penalty on this play ensuing power play off the faceoff play is whistled down for a penalty call Dylan Larkin shoots after the whistle and the Oilers they take exception to that as well so plenty of animosity in the first period but no scoring to show you. Things open up, though, in the second. Five minutes in, Detroit gets on the board. Gustav Nyquist finds the loose puck in front, and it's 1-0 Detroit. It's all made possible by Mike Green getting a good shot initially and then driving the net. That opens the lane, and it's jammed in. Later, a sloppy change by the Oilers leads to this odd man rush for the wings. Thomas Tatar from the top of the circle, sniping his eighth to make it 2-0. Yeah, that's just bad bench management by the Edmonton Oilers. An odd man rush, and it ends up costing you. Tatar changes the angle. He's able to beat Talbot, high blocker. Talbot had taken an angle, but he's down a bit early. What about the Oilers clawing their way back? Anton Lander finds a Euro Pack arena in, in front. Edmonton within one. What a pass here through the seam, and he's wide open. He just hammers it into the wide open net. Under three to play in the frame. Edmonton power play. Puck comes out to Latestu. He tees it up for Andre Sekera and tie game. But under two minutes later, Later, Detroit on a fast break. Henrik Zetterberg feeds Larkin and he beats Cam Talbot. That's the rookie's team leading ninth goal of the season. And it was 3 2 Detroit after 40 minutes. Let's go to the third period. The Red Wings. Well, they give the lead back. Uh, Pacarina forces Darren Helm to turn it over in his own end and then he'll tie it with his second of the game. Great game for Pacarina. Terrific work. Great physicality. Cronwall just goes for a skate past it and it ends up behind Jimmy Howard. Another game that needed overtime under 30 seconds into it. Detroit breaking out on the odd man rush. Larkin finds Cronwall and Cronwall just snaps it by Talbot. His first goal in 29 games wins it for the Red Wings as they continue that home dominance of the Oilers 4-3 in your final.